We're here at season two of High School the Musical. Where do we pick up with Carlos? Oh my gosh. The cool thing about uh, the beginning of season two is we literally pick up right where we left off with everyone. So I think it's maybe open or closing night just happened and then it's like right back into it. So yeah. <laughs> what makes Carlos decide to audition for the play Beauty and the Beast? I mean, he's the choreographer last season. Yeah, um, I think he, it's just all about personal growth and wanting to, um, you know, really challenge himself and see what else he's capable of. So I think that's where it stems from. Well, we absolutely love the arc he had last season. We'll be seeing him involved at all in the choreography, though, with Beauty and the Beast, or is he full on just Lumiere this season. <laughs> no, I mean, of course, like he's definitely the student choreographer. I think the resident student chore choreographer of East High. So <laughs> no one's going to take that from me. <laughs> well, I love that Derek Huff is a new part of the season. And does he have any role in shaping the choreography for this particular season? Or was this all straight high school musical, the musical choreographers involved? <laughs> oh oh you're saying like him personally did he yes. have an oh um nothing that I was involved in but um I'm, I'm not too sure uh, other than that um maybe I don't know <laughs> I don't think so what's a typical day like on set for you is it morning choreography afternoon learning your lines for beauty and the beast <laughs> or is it just all you know a little bit of uh this on the weekend, maybe sneaking in school at some point. What's a typical day like on set for you? Oh my gosh. Well, they do a really good job at making sure everything is spaced out. So we're not doing too much in um, too much in a day, but uh, a typical day would be just like early morning, get to set, grab your breakfast and then um, change into your costume. And then you're kind of just there until the sun goes down. <laughs> Um, but that's like a typical day, but it's nice. What's nice about this show is that every once in a while we'll have a big performance number or we'll have a big group scene. So it does switch things up a lot. I love Carlos's relationship with Seb. Where do we pick up with them this season? Ooh, the fun thing about Seb and Carlos this year is last year we got to really see them get to know each other and be introduced for the first time. And this year we actually get to see them in a relationship and refer to each other as their boyfriends, which um, is super fun and sweet. And so I'm really excited for people to see that. Do you have much of a say then in how Carlos's arc was evolved this season or is it more just the brilliance that the writers come up with and you're just in awe of what they've written? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely the second one. I think they do such a good job at really understanding what high school, what theater high school teenagers will be, would be going through at that time. And so, no, I just trust the process and um, I leave it up to them. <laughs> How in is Carlos when it comes to this award that they're trying to achieve? Is he full on willing to take the ball being thrown at his head and staying in character <laughs> or is he uh, uh, less intense when it comes to winning the award? <laughs> oh, of course not. The fun thing about Carlos is that he is such an invested, intense um, character and he really does take Broadway and the musical and all things theater very seriously. So um, no, he's definitely, he's a little businessman. <laughs> How do you relate then to playing Carlos and his personal development in this show? Uh, well, I would say a lot of the storylines that happen actually, I can relate to so much of my own personal high school experience. So I'm drawing a lot on that because I was such a theater kid. I mean, I still am, but um, I was such a Broadway boy in high school. Like that's all I was ever thinking about is like when you finished the high school shows, I was like, well, what's the next show? Like, what are you, are you guys gonna audition? Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, no, I, definitely, I definitely relate to him on that level. How does Carlos feel about pursuing Beauty and the Beast then rather than High School Musical too? Oh, I mean, he is, Miss Jen is God to him. So <laughs> he, whatever she says goes and he's going to think it's the best idea ever. 
what is something valuable or something you've personally taken away from portraying Carlos? Oh, just the learning process. I think just taking in information and um, not overreacting <laughs> to situations and trying to be as positive as possible. How has it been for you portraying a character who's both Latino and LGBTQ, you know, yourself in a society where representation regarding both ethnicity and sexuality is, you know, such an important topic? Oh, for sure. I, I definitely feel very grateful to be a part of the entertainment industry at this specific time where there is, you know, people are looking for um, diversity and inclusion. So I definitely feel lucky at that. Um, but in terms of the question you asked, I, it feels amazing just to be the representation that I wasn't able to see as a kid and now kind of lay out the blueprint for, you know, some other Latino kid who wants to pursue TV. <laughs> it must mean a lot to you as well that this is one of the few Disney approved LGBTQ relationships, out relationships too. Yeah, I mean, that alone, just that sentence is kind of like, uh, um, and it's also just like, right, why me? Like, what did I do? Um, but I just feel so just grateful um, and, and excited that it's happening and that I get to be a part of that change. What's it like then for you and Joe sharing those scenes? Did you guys spend much time together to develop the chemistry you're going to need for that relationship? Or has it just been a natural friendship between the two of you? <laughs> um, well, me and Joe do date in real life. So, oh. <laughs> um, so I think some of that chemistry oh. <laughs> yeah, it kind of pours over into um, the scenes. No, but he is such a great scene partner and just the ideas that he brings in, he always just makes such a comfortable situation. So I know that it's gonna be like a real like ball game back and forth and that will really get to play off of each other. So that's, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Going into season two, were you excited to work with someone or someone's more this season than you got a chance to share scenes last season? Ooh, I mean, truth be told, there are so, we do have such a large cast and all of right. them are just so different and in their acting style and how they work. And so I would be excited to work with any of them to be quite honest. Um, so it is always fun to like look at the script and to see what the new configuration of who's in who, what scene. Okay. Um, so the, I think that definitely keeps us all on our toes. When I talked to Joe, he told me to look out for episode five this season. Is there a specific episode you would like us to look out for this season? Oh my gosh, five is definitely a good one. 10 is a fun one. 11 is a good one. Um, and though that's just personally for me. <laughs> that's just selfishly me promoting myself. Um, but no, I think the really fun thing about this season is that every episode, it like just gets, I mean, they just knock it out of the park every single time. I'm like, people are gonna freak out. <laughs> How do you shake off a long day of filming then? Ooh, um, I, it depends what it is. Sometimes if we're doing something that requires a lot of high energy, it is really hard to wind down because of course you're still like, I wanna play, I wanna play. Um, but for the most part, I, um, it's just like home dinner, go over lines for the next day and go to bed. <laughs> You're a part of social media. What kind of fan feedback have you personally received to the show and your role as Carlos? Ooh, the fan feedback has been awesome because the amount of support I've gotten Good. since the very beginning, even before the show even aired, people were so excited by um, the idea of the character of Carlos and um, what he was going to bring and the new diversity and inclusion. So um, it has been a lot of love and support. So I'm very thankful for all of them. Is there anything else about the coming season you'd like us to be sure we share with our viewers, readers? Just buckle in. I think if you were a fan of the first season, then this year, even though it took forever to get um, to get made, it, it's, it really lives up to the expectation. And I really think we raised the bar um, all around. And I think people are really gonna see the difference immediately.
How do you plan on celebrating the release of the season? I mean, can't get together too many, too much anyway with uh, yeah. your co-stars, <laughs> but will there be like a live tweet-a-thon, a rewatch like there was last season? Ooh, um, I don't know. Well, we just announced on May, let me double check. I'm getting this date right because I don't want to say the wrong date. <laughs> um, when is it? And of course, my calendar is in July, um, May, <laughs> which is, I think, next Saturday, they're having the entire first season, a marathon on Disney Channel. So if you like want to watch that and get ready for the new premiere a week before, you can do that. So I'll definitely be doing that with my mom. She like already has it all planned. Um, but as far as celebrating the thing, I think um the last year the tradition was to stay up until midnight and watch the new episode and then just like you know tweet back and forth with people who are watching it so maybe something like that I, I really did enjoy that what would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the wonderful work that you do oh thank you so much thank you thank you just for the opportunity and for embracing me and um what I have to offer <laughs> Any hopes of you getting back to theater in the near future? Oh my gosh, I it's so funny. Um, last year, because I I was when I first started in acting, I was always in some sort of musical or play, and so <laughs> sure. it kind of stopped when I started focusing strictly on TV film. So I was like, 2020 is the year I get back on stage. Um, but the world had different Other plans, <laughs> different plans, and so um, no, I'm hoping, uh, hopefully not too much longer um, but I would love to be on stage in a musical or something 